Hey guys, Troy here with TheInnerGeekZone.com and today we're going to be looking at character creation for the Char in Guild Wars 2, the upcoming MMO from ArenaNet. Early access begins August 25th. Official launch is August 28th. As you can see, I'm scrolling through right now and just kind of giving you an idea of what an example of the armor would look like for each profession. Each one kind of has its own unique look and of course has restrictions as far as what types of armor it can and cannot wear. You've got your usual selections of heavy, medium, and light armor that each profession is restricted to. And we're going to start off with the male char. We will go to the female here momentarily. As you can see in character creation, you can take the wardrobe off of it. So you can kind of see the body type and the body markings. And you started out with a height adjustment. You can be taller or shorter. And then we move into body type. As you can see, there are skinnier versions, bigger, more built versions. Some that are a little chubby. And probably one of the biggest features for the char are the body markings. There are quite a few to choose from, everything from tiger stripes to leopard spots. And a few here and there that aren't as intense. They're a little more plain with just a little bit of different coloration in the face and the hands. There's enough here to really create a distinct looking char for yourself. Especially when you get into different colorations of the fur. You can make your body a darker color and your stripes a lighter color. Or your stripes a darker color and your body a lighter color. And there's several different colorations to choose from as you can see here. So you're going to have a pretty fair time creating your own unique looking character. For right now, we'll go back and switch it to some colors that help show off some of the other features a little bit more. And next up is hairstyles, which is kind of the main running down the top of your head and the back of your neck. There are a few different options here. Some bigger and furrier than others. Some a little more slick back. And of course, you cannot have any type of mane at all. And of course, you can change the color of it. And now we'll just run through the different faces that are available. Right now there are nine currently in the beta. By the time it goes live there may be more. Some of these might change. But this is what is available currently in the stress tests. And then we get into the other big feature of the char which is going to be the horns that protrude out of your head. Uh, several different styles here to choose from. And as you'll see here in just a minute there you can also go into some sliders and kind of change the length of these and it changes the shape of them just a little bit as you do that. There are a fair amount of sliders in character creation and they do everything from adjust the width of your nose to the angle and the squint of your eyes. Some of these sliders produce a little more noticeable difference than others, but overall there are quite a few different features to tweak. As you can see here, you can also adjust the size of the teeth coming out of your mouth. You can also adjust the overall size of your head and here you can see the horn slider, which makes those a little longer, a little shorter, depending on what you like. And then you'll be able to set up the dye color for your starting outfit. This is the outfit your character is going to start out with. Not as awesome as the outfits that we were looking at when we were looking at the overall professions. But still a pretty neat little outfit. And you get a chance to kind of customize it and with the limited options make it look how you want. Now of course based on the colors you've unlocked in the game you can go in at any time and adjust these colors once you're in game. If you get in there and decide those aren't the colors you like you can always change them out. So now let's switch over and take a look at the female char character creation. And we'll start out doing the same thing by just kind of scrolling through the different professions and kind of giving you a glimpse of what some of the profession type armor is going to look like later on in the game and give you an idea of the armor types that you're going to be wearing. And of course there at the bottom there's a brief description of what each profession is and kind of give you an idea of what the gameplay of each type is going to be like. You can also go to guildwars2.com and get a really in-depth look at each profession and what it brings to the game. But getting into the female char character creation, of course, here again, you've got the height slider. And then you've got the different body type. Once again, everything from a smaller, slimmer character to a big, bulky, strong female character. The body marking options are pretty much the same as the male. You're going to create different looks and kind of give different feline appearances depending on which markings and colorations you choose. And some of the female faces are really going to help produce a little bit different look than some of the male characters do. But the body markings themselves are pretty similar. Once again, several different options to choose from. You're going to have quite a bit of selection here and a lot of ability to kind of create your own personalized looking character. Getting into the head options, the hairstyles, there are actually some different options here. You can, of course, have none at all, or you can have some of the different female options, which are quite different than the male options, which is quite nice. It's not just a feminized version of the male char. They have their own unique looks and styles that they like to go with. So while there are some similarities, there are more than enough differences to really make the female char 
their own separate entity. And of course, as you can see, the female faces are very different than the male faces. Several different ones to choose from, including an old haggish looking one. So if you always wanted to play an old female kitty cat, here's your chance. The horns for the female are pretty different as well. Several choices here again. And they are different from the male, so you're going to have your own unique look as a female. Then you get back into the sliders that give all the eye, nose, mouth adjustments. You've got the, the teeth increase in size, just like you did with the males. And then, of course, you've got the ears and the horn sliders, which makes your horns larger, smaller, and changes the way they look just a little bit as you change the size around. But that's going to do it for our look at Char character creation. We're going to have all the other races coming up, so stay tuned for those. And you can check out everything at theinnergeekzone.com. Thanks for watching, guys.